Some of you have mouths on you. Like Isaiah said, I'm a man of unclean lips. I dwell amongst the people of unclean lips. How are you going to use this as dirty as it is? What does he do? God cleans it. His angel puts the coal on it. And he says, your sins are forgiven and, and your, your iniquity is purged. Boom. Now you have a mouth I can use. So what God does is sometimes he uses your worst trait, your worst characteristic. I know for, for some of you, M-O and O, I'm just using your initials, you pick on yourselves because of your shortcomings. But some of those very shortcomings will be flipped on the other side as God uses that very shortcoming to the enhancement of his work. Why? Because the shortcoming God placed in you as a characteristic. The flesh turned it into a shortcoming, but God will flip it back over and use it to accomplish his purposes. For example, some of you are always quick to point out something that needs to be worked on, something that's wrong. That's not right. I won't tolerate it. Blah, blah, blah. Boom, boom, boom. No, no, no. And you got your guns blazing and your mouth flailing. But what God will do is use that same mouth, that same attitude, that same passion you have that sometimes you may use inappropriately and in an untimely manner and with the wrong attitude, God will use that same attitude and use it for his glory to defeat the enemy. To expose sin and bring it to the light and help some find God. He will use that very shortcoming. You ever hear the expression, sometimes your greatest weakness is your greatest strength, and sometimes your greatest strength is your greatest weakness. I know women who love to a fault. They just love. They have the gift of love, but they have to watch it because they will oftentimes place that love like casting pearls before swine. They misplace it. There's a time to love, and there's a time to hate. So the wisdom is what helps govern how you operate in those giftings that God has placed in you. And when you learn to operate more effectively, those that used to be shortcomings end up being God's tools, end up adding to your anointing, to your effectiveness. Okay, so for some of you who think you either have an attitude, an anger problem, uh, issues with intolerance, with uh, narcissism, with uh, whatever, some of that God's going to use against the enemy. And it's going to blow your mind that that was actually something God could even use in the first place when you saw it as something that needed to be trashed. Nope, it just needed to be governed with wisdom and God's anointing. In essence, what God will do is take that very thing that Satan used against you, some of your qualities that Satan used against you to sabotage things you were reaching for. God will use those very same things Flip it over and use it against Satan. <laughs> oh, boy. God is something else.